Hello and welcome to this voted for video by my patrons. So first of all, before we begin, big shout out and thank you to all my patrons who voted for this video. If you want to vote for future videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Rain Ailey and silver and up higher patron tiers can vote on each month's new video. So this video is all about creating their attack combinations. So this attack combo system, uh, there are loads of ways of doing this. Uh, this is just one way. If you want to see other ways, you can even look at uh, Epic's own Paragon characters and you can see different versions that they've done there. I'm just going to show you a way of doing it, okay? So here I've got a, a simple character I've got here. Uh, I've got the Knight character, which I got from the Marketplace, I think one month. Um, and I've got an animation set here too. And at the moment, his animation just looks like this, okay? And if you, by the way, you want these project files, these will be available to gold patrons over on Patreon uh, as well. So we're going to add attack combination. Um, and in the animation for this, which I have here, and you should have your own animations as well to accomplish this, obviously. Um, we should have an attack combo. And we can either have it all broken down to three different combinations, or we can have them all put together like this. So what we're going to do here, is going to make this a montage uh, but before we do what we're going to do is enable root motion on it for an animation like this it's quite good to have root motion enabled because there is some sort of drive in the movement of the character as they swing their sword so i'm going to go down here and make sure i've enabled root motion which i have already i'm going to hit save there and close this and then i'll right click on this asset and go create an in montage this will create an in montage for me right next to it indicated by the uh, purple bar at the bottom and we're going to open this up so on the montage we need to indicate different notifications for when we want the attack combos to be joined up together so what I'm going to do is move my time line along to about there and I'm going to right click and add a montage notifier to the notify track and go along again to the next part of the animation, which is about there. We'll go back there. And right click again, add notify, montage notify. I'm going to drag that to the correct place there. So these notifiers are going to fire off when we want the animation to sort of pause or like check to see if it should play the next part of the animation. And that's what's going to happen there. So we save that and close that. Now let's go on to the characters blueprint. And yep, there they are. And what we're going to do in here is right click and I'm going to do a left mouse button input. Obviously, this should be set up a natural input in your input settings, but I'm cutting some time out by just doing this. And in here, what we're going to do is simply do a play montage. However, there are going to be a few things we're going to do either side of that. So first of all, let's just get the play montage working. Drag out your mesh component, and from there, do play montage. You want this play montage. And you want to choose your montage from the list here. So it can be attack, uh, this one. And those notifiers are going to fire off on this notify begin. So this is where some of our checking is going to be happening. So before I do that though, I want to check to see if an animation is already playing. So I'm going to drag out the mesh again and get the anim instance of this. You want to get the anim instance because that's how you determine what montage is playing and if it is still playing. So it takes return value here and you do montage is playing and you can choose the attack montage there and it's going to a branch. So the thinking is behind this is that when the player clicks the left mouse button we want it first of all to do the attack so there's no montage playing we want to just do the attack so we'll just drag that into false to play montage like that so it will play the whole thing by default however what we need to do is determine when the player has hit that attack button again whilst they are still swinging their sword about so what happens is is the first time it goes through it'll go down to false play start playing the animation the next time the player hits it it's going to see it's still playing the animation go to true and what we're going to do here is store the attack combo now you want a new variable i've got an integer here and you make a new integer and i've called mine attack combo we drag this out and choose set and all we have to do on this is just set it to one 
That's all you have to do. Just set it to one. You have to increase it, just change it to one. Then on the mo play montage on the Nightfire Begin, what we're going to do is take one away from the attack combo. So get attack combo and do minus minus to decrement the int. That goes on Notify Begin as a reminder. So let's say, for example, I push the button just once. You play the montage, hit this Notify, and the top combination is now going to be equal to minus one because its default is zero. We haven't increased it at all, so it will become minus one. If it hits that point, we've only hit the button once, therefore we want the animation to stop. So what we're doing here is we're checking to see if this value here is below zero. So do less than zero and put that into a branch. So now we've got to check to see whether or not below zero. And if we are below zero, as I said, we only means we've only hit it once, because if we've hit it twice, our combo will equal one. So that means we want to stop the animation. So we're going to drag out our mesh, set to montage stop. Oh sorry, stop montage. Oh sorry, get anime instance. And then from there, montage stop. And you're going to choose your attack montage. And if you want, you can put a blend out time if you want. I'm going to put in 0 0.25. And that'll do there. And at the end of this, we want to set attack combo back to zero so it's ready for the next time we attack. And that is it. So what will happen now if I hit the button twice, let's say, if I hit it once, it will go through the play montage, start it, hit it again, it will change to attack combo to one. And that if I begin, attack combo will be minus minus, so one becomes equal to zero. Therefore, this returns false, allowing the animation to keep going. However, if I don't hit it again, then it's going to be still equal to zero, not changing it back up to one. So basically, every time we hit that button, we're just knocking it back up to one constantly. So you can now spam the button to get an attack combo. So let's demonstrate that. There you go. And no matter how fast I click my button, it will still do the full attack combination. As long as I hit a button within the range of it starting and stopping a segment of that, it'll do the full attack. Really quick, really simple way of doing attack combinations. No fancy variables. That's a uh, tracker to keep track of how many combos go in. There you have it, an attack combo. Thanks very much for watching, and big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for their support. Once again, if you want to vote on next month's video, head over to patreon.com forward slash Rhinelaley and become a silver tier member. And gold tier members have the lucky reward of having access to all the project files, including this one today. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.